this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a foreign key constraint. Um, in this example, um, I'm going to demonstrate a one-to-many relationship um, by show by adding an additional table called purchases, which will show um, the purchases made by each customer, and the relationship would be um, one-to-many because each customer has multiple purchases. So that's where the one-to-many relationships come in. So the first thing we need to do is create a purchases table. So I'm going to add an ID for each purchase once again, giving an integer, and make that the primary key. Set our identity, which is our auto incrementer for the purchase ID. And then um, uh, we'll give a reference num number. And uh, we'll make that a required field, and uh, we need an amount, make it a decimal. Uh, uh, with the decimal variable, what the 10 means is that there's 10 digits and there's two decimal places. So 8 digits um, in front of the, the decimal place and 2 digits after for cents. And that up that field cannot be null either. We, it is a required field. And then finally, to keep this example very simple, we have to add our foreign key customer ID. And uh, this is an integer, and this is also not null. And this customer ID is going to be the foreign key of the customer's table. So um, it will be the foreign key inside of our purchase purchases table. So let me go ahead and save our new purchases and now currently the the once the um the foreign key constraint hasn't been set up yet so i'm going to go to customers and if we open customers up and look at the keys right now there's only the primary key but we're going to go say new sorry not customers <laughs> on purchases we're going to right click on keys and say new foreign key and then you'll notice we can come here and we can go tables and column specific so if we click that button it'll bring up and uh, we'll see that um, the foreign key exists on purchases so we, we cannot this is where we're adding the foreign key constraint but we need to choose the primary key table of that and we know that comes from customers and on customers the primary key is the customer ID and on the foreign key in the purchases table is customer ID. And then we go OK and close and then we can go and save. And it'll add it and when we go into and refresh our keys we'll see that we have a new foreign key um, and it's set up a one-to-many relationship between customers and purchases. Um, now when we come into purchases and we add purchases, we give a ref number one, two, three, four ref and an amount which is required. Now I'm going to just query on customers so that we can look up a valid ID number. So if you can remember from earlier tutorials, our customer ID starts at a thousand. So just as a test, I'm going to show you, let's try and put 90 in. And now I know well and good that 90 does not exist on the customer table. So let's go and try and press enter and see if we can add that. And you can see that this error message pops up and um, it said conflicted with the foreign key constraint. So you can see our foreign key constraint is working. It's not allowing us to add a record for a customer ID that doesn't exist. But we know customer ID 1000 exists. So we press enter and we see all is well and good. We have our foreign key constraint and our one-to-many relationship set up, and um, this will um, the foreign key constraint will um, um, keep uh, data integrity and doesn't allow for uh, any bad data to get into the database.